Hello and welcome to the Chauvin Arnu UK channel. I'm David Savory with a quick start video series of the many features of the CA6117 multifunction installation tester to help you get the most out of this capable instrument. Here I'm going to cover the RCD test functions offered by the CA6117. The dial selector has two RCD modes, the first being a ramp test. The upper soft key allows us to select the RCD rating, including a variable option to allow the test parameters to be set to a custom value as required by certain device manufacturers. Here we're testing a 30 milliamp device. The second soft key allows us to choose the type of RCD. We have AC at 0 degrees, AC at 180 degrees, type A or F positive alternations or negative alternations, type B, B plus or EV continuous positive signal or negative signal. We can also select between standard, time delayed and general devices. For type S or G devices, the instrument will introduce a 30 second delay prior to testing. The third soft key allows us to set a preliminary check with a test current of 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 or 0 0.5 times, or we can skip the pre-check for faster testing. We can also set an audible alarm, which will sound if there is no voltage detected, useful for identifying which device we're testing at an unlabeled board. Running the ramp test on a standard 30 milliamp device installed for additional protection here gives us a trip time of 109.6 milliseconds and a trip current of 20.8 milliamps. The fault voltage, UF, is a test the instrument performs to ensure the test won't raise the touch voltage above 50 volts. The test would abort if that occurred. Switching the dial to the second RCD function, we have the same test parameters as before, but now under the second soft key we can select 1, 2, 4 and 5 times testing, half times testing and UF, which is a test of fault voltage to ensure the testing won't exceed 50 volts. There is no auto test feature, although regulation 643.8 requires RCDs installed for additional protection to only be tested as type AC at rated value. Again, we have an audible alarm function which can be set to sound on a minimum threshold, a maximum threshold, or both. Here, I'll leave it set to sound if the test goes on for longer than 300 milliseconds. One thing to note with the audio feature is that for it to work, the audio must be set as on in the global setup menu, as that overrides the individual test settings. If the global option is set to mute, then the instrument will not make any sound on most tests, although the display will still visually show either a tick or a red bell icon for any result below or above the programmed threshold. Testing our AFDD RCBO, we get a result of 28 milliseconds, which is well within the 300 millisecond limit imposed by regulation 643.8. Therefore, we see a tick on the screen as it is within the parameters we defined. Setting the instrument to the 180 degree option, we get 38 milliseconds, which again is well within what we want to see. And those are the RCD functions of the 6117, but this instrument has a lot more moxie, so do review the other presentations in this series to review its other offerings. Thanks for watching.